everyone welcome back to my channel thank you so so much for being here I am going to say it right from the beginning because I always forget to say it. I have an Instagram account it is at Amber's to do list please feel free to follow me there and you can see pictures of some of the stuff I haul and that way you get closer looks to the items I also like to do sneak peeks of things and just post other random stuff sometimes but a lot of times it has to do with my hauls um, also, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, please don't forget to subscribe. That would be awesome. It helps my channel. Don't forget to like this video and leave a comment. I am here today with a, a Dollar Tree haul, and it's one of those hauls that I am going to be all over the place, which seems to be my theme lately. So I have some fall items, I have some Halloween items, I have some crafting items, and I have some just because items. So a little bit of everything today. So let me go ahead and get started so that I can show you everything I have. So in the crafting section in their stickers, I picked up these. So I thought these were beautiful stickers. They are kind of like that pop out. They have that um, little bit of a dimension to them. And so I've mentioned before, I do a happy birthday board for all my kids each year. And Harry Potter is, I think, a little bit more difficult of a happy birthday board. It's not just like the fun foods like I was able to just recently do. But I thought this would look really cool for the Harry Potter happy birthday board. So that's what I picked those up for. In the crafting, no, this is actually not in crafting. In the um, automotive, the the man section and the dude section, I got some masking tape for some crafting. So I thought what a killer deal to get it for a dollar. And I have a craft that I'm going to be doing. I needed some masking tape for it. So I picked that up. I'm just throwing stuff in a bag down here. So as long as it's not breakable. I picked these up and I thought these were really neat and I hadn't seen them before and it actually is kind of perfect. So these are hand lettering pens or markers. It says hand lettering pens by Liquimark feature a non-toxic fast drying water based ink that won't fade includes two assorted tips. It meets safety standards and perfect for calligraphy calligraphy. So it's got the fine and the chisel tip. So this is made by the Liquimark corporation made in the usa recap when not in use so it's not a green briar product i was eyeballing on amazon a harry potter hand lettering book for my son for one of his birthday gifts and so if i end up getting him that i felt that these would be perfect to add in or at least one set of them and so i grabbed the two just in case i want to give him one and in case i want to keep one so i thought that that was a really neat find i don't know if they're going to have them for a long time but I thought that that was really cool so keep an eye out. I picked up some of the purple Elmer school glue again not to use it for its purpose but maybe for crafting if I get any of those small glass jars I typically see hopefully they have them when I want them because it seems like as soon as I like oh Dollar Tree has this and then I go to get it and they don't. I've been looking for dowels like the 12 inch dowels the Dollar Tree has but oh I can't find them in my stores. But so I grabbed these so that hopefully when I go to get the glass jars, they have them. Um, I can pour some of this in some of them and call it like a little potion and it'll stay purple because it goes on purple, dries clear, but I would be keeping it in a container. So that was my thought on that, oops, on that one. In their craft section, they have these. So I showed in my last haul these, I picked up another one because I think that they're really cool and I'm going to find uses for them even if it's outside this birthday party. But they are craft bottles, as are these craft bottles. And again, I thought that I could turn them into like little um, potion bottles if I don't find all the ones that I'm looking for. I haven't found the ones at Dollar Tree in their Halloween section yet. So if I can't ever find them, then I can create my own. I did find the ones at Target, but I want to add to them. So that's what I picked these up for. Also in the crafter squares, but in the Halloween section, they have these ones that have spider web tops. And so I thought that that would be ones too that I can use for that, like maybe fill it up with spiders and do like cricket like tags and stuff for each of them, whatever I put in it and call it something. So these could both be something to do with spider webs. I can even just fill one up with spider webs and call it something and then the other one with spiders. Yeah, so I got that for that and then I can also use them for Halloween after the fact. So that's really cool. Continue. Well, I'm all over the place. I'm all over the place. I'm sorry, guys. In the craft section, I found this. It is the 3D fabric paint. I don't know if it will you like work on things other than fabric, to be honest. But I got it in case it can be and to maybe decal and do just add little additions to some of my crafts that I'm going to be doing. So 
I picked that up. It's in black. This is by Greenbrier. I thought it might have been. It says BUcolor.com, but well, so manufactured for hashtag BU, but it's imported by Greenbrier. So I'm not exactly sure. But yeah, I thought that that would be cool for that. I found some washi tape, washi, washi tape. I've been not finding these in my stores lately. I have a few that I was looking for, but I've never come across them. But I thought these ones were cute. So this one is, and they're both very summer related, and I know we're pushing past summer, but I thought they were really cute. It has flamingos, flip-flops, watermelons, and suns on that one. And then this one has pineapples, a little hula girl, like a Maui looking dude, because he reminds me of Maui and palm leaves and flowers so like a little hula theme which i think is adorable so i picked that up too that was exciting i picked up i think he was in the halloween section if i remember i can't remember he might have actually been in the craft section i think he was in the craft section but i can't remember for sure so either check your craft section or your halloween section if you're interested in a wooden owl box so it's just a box it says decor at the bottom uh, I'm going to make some bird cages and I need some owls to put in them so I don't know which ones are going to work best but I grabbed this guy thinking I can maybe paint him and add him to my little owl decor set. We have one stuffy owl that's supposed to be Hedwig, Hed, Hedwig but he's not. He's um, the Beanie Boos with the big old eyes. He's adorable. But I just thought, you know, I could paint one of them brown, one of them white, whatever colors that owls are, and have a, an array of owls because that is a theme in Harry Potter. So that's why I grabbed him. In the Halloween section, I found these guys. I thought they were too darn cute. However, this ghost looks like he's like a ghost with a mustache. I'm not really sure I understand his felt placement. I feel like this is his mouth, but this is like his mustache, or maybe it's an open mouth, so that's like the inside of his mouth. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I'm seeing. I'm not sure what he is. But he's cute, so I'll put him out somewhere for Halloween decor. I thought he was really cute. I got the um, this guy, Jack Lantern, as well. They had a black cat, and I really wanted to like the cat, but he had crazy eyes. He just looked like he was looking everywhere. He looked like he had a day, and it was all of them. Like, these were brand new boxes. I, I was able to pull out the two that I thought were best, and all the cats, they were all there, brand new boxes, and they all looked like they were having a rough day. So I didn't pick up the cat, and maybe it was a scarecrow was the fourth guy. I can't remember for sure, but I thought these were the two cutest, so they're who I picked up to add to the Halloween decor when I get that out. I picked up one cute little ceramic pumpkin. I'm working on collecting all the ones I like, but it's kind of based off of finding them. Um, so I got this guy. I think it's beautiful because I have my whole fall theme that I'm getting ready to put out. I liked that a lot. In Halloween, I picked up, I have it all folded. I'm afraid it's gonna flop everywhere. Oh, there's two there, huh? Good job, Amber. So I got this one, it says, welcome little pretties. It's got the witch's hat, it's got the bat here or welcome my pretties and I think it's beautiful as it is however I plan to craft it I plan to take off what all this is I want to make this a wizard's hat and do some sort of other sign for Harry Potter so I do plan to use the shape of it I think the shape is perfect because this to me looked very wizard hat ish and then yeah something about welcome to Hogwarts welcome to some one of the stores and maybe there's a hat store is there a hat store in Harry Potter can you comment down below if there's a hat store? Because I don't know if there is or not, to be honest. Because this would be awesome for that. So I'm going to um, DIY that for the birthday party. Now this is the one I thought I was grabbing and was going to fling things everywhere. Because, I don't know, my brain thought there was a top to it. So it says, pick your poison. And we got spider venom, just poison, and witch's brew. And again, I'm doing like a thing with like potions and stuff. And so I thought that this would work really well for that. Even if I keep it as is, maybe change the jack-o'-lantern on there of some sort. But I thought I could either DIY that or keep it as is, do something with it. I picked this one up 100% to DIY. I love it. I think it is adorable. It says happy haunting. I might actually just flip it around and DIY the other side because then for Halloween I can use this again. But I was going to turn this because I like the shape of it into the Honey Dukes sign, the candy shop, and do some sort of printable Mod Podge it, paint it, Mod Podge it in the middle, and have it be the Honey Dukes sign because I liked the shape. It reminded me just kind of of a candy store. And so that's what I got that one for. 
but I do. I think that as is, I think he's really cute. And it's got the little baby ghosts. Oh, I think it's adorable. So yeah, I'll maybe double duty that one. I picked up this witch, but I picked it up to try to turn it into a Dementor, which is on the movies. So I need to get some arms. They have the salad tong arms. I'm going to probably spray paint the whole thing black, including this purple. In my last haul, I had grabbed the extra, like, kind of crepey stuff in black so that I can make it a little more substantial. And I was kind of weirdly kind of like, yeah, so the nose comes right off. That's actually perfect. It makes it real creepy, like. And then I'm going to cover it up with some more black one because they don't really have faces, but they just have that kind of shape. And so paint it all black. So I'm going to turn this into a Dementor for the Harry Potter party. And now I just have a witch's nose hanging out. Oops. Um, another one for fall. Oh my gosh, so this is a wish list item. So excited I found it. And it's, I got two of them, and I got the same ones. They also have them just in the sunflower theme, but I got the two that are pumpkin, and they're the trays. And if you just look at the one, like, they are, like, you can kind of bend it, but these are not nearly as flimsy as a lot of the trays are that you can get at Dollar Tree. Like, I feel like it's such good quality. And I'm doing a fondue party in November with a fall theme with, like, the pumpkins and stuff. And so I thought that this would be great for my fondue party. So that's what I got these for. And then also maybe just to get one of the um, frame holders. And you could just literally have this as decor, as like fall decor, because it is so beautiful. Like I said, I got two. In case I don't like my thumbnail, I can use that. I love these. And I was so excited to find them. I didn't think I was going to. So when I did, I got real excited. Like, real excited. I picked up some window clings. I don't put them in the windows. I thought maybe I could be creative and do a craft with them. I don't know, but I just really liked this. So I love it that it has the blue that I'm really pulling for my fall theme. A lot of the sayings are really cute. So in the middle it says gobble gobble. It says hello pumpkin. What does that say? Fall breeze, autumn leaves, and pumpkin spice, please. I love pumpkin spice. Happy fall, y'all. Farm fresh pumpkins, 10 cents. Time to get your fat pants on. Love leggings. Sweater weather. Hey, right this way. Let's give thanks with a grateful heart. And I am so stuffed. So I just thought that these were so cute. Like, so cute. So I picked them up. And then I know there's another pumpkin spice one going around that I'm looking for. But I didn't find it. But I did find this one. So that one right there says pumpkin spice and everything nice with the coffee cup. Oh my gosh. Then we got the I'm just here for the pie. I don't like pumpkin pie. I am pumpkin spice girl everything. I love pumpkin everything. I actually got a magazine that's all pumpkin recipes, but I don't like pumpkin pie. I don't know. It's the one thing I don't like. But we got sweeter than pumpkin pie right in the middle. Hello fall. And God will tell you wobble. So I thought this was really cute. I really like this one though. This is what I got this for. And I mean, the pumpkin pie stuff is really cute. I just don't need it. I don't need pumpkin pie. But I love everything else pumpkin. I don't know. Don't ask me. That's just, that's just, I don't know. I got one of these. I actually got another one. I don't know where it is. So I need to find it. Um, so I'm going to look for the other one of this. I got it for my best friend's little gift basket that I'm making for her. It's that football fall theme. And I thought the two of these would be cute. I may or may not cricket something on this. I might do her name and her boyfriend's name because they do watch football. I think they drink beer, but I think they drink it out of the bottle, but that's okay. So I might do little personalized football cups for the two of them. I just thought that those were really cute, so I got that for that. I found this. I saw people hauling them. Again, it was one of those things I didn't think I was going to find. I'm going to just hold on to it until Valentine's Day, because I think that this would be beautiful decor, just putting it on a shelf for Valentine's Day. I could spray paint it any other color, keep it gold, I don't know, we will see, but I was excited to find it because I didn't think I was going to. I wasn't outwardly looking, but when I found it, I was like, heck yeah, because I wanted it. I got these for my fondue party. They are just mini wavy plates. They're a 12 count. So you just get these little like dip cups. And so with fondue, you always do little dips to dip stuff in. And I thought these were perfect for the little dip cups. And I think that they are so cute. Such a great size for that. And so I will be hitting up their party. Well, I've been looking a lot. There's some specific items I'm looking for. I haven't found yet, but in their, um, like in the party section with all the clear stuff, there's more that I want, but I haven't gotten it all yet. I picked up these gift mask boxes. I really did it for a test. We're making wands, or I'm going to make wands for the Harry Potter party. 
and I thought these can maybe be wand boxes, just this necklace size one, but I need to test the size. So I only picked up one to see if it's going to work. I feel like it might be too small for what I'm thinking, but if it doesn't work, I will put this pack of three boxes in my gift stuff, and I mean, I'll use them for gifts and stuff at some point. So that was just a tester purchase to see if it's going to work for my thought process. I grabbed two packs of socks. This is for Eric. It's got some shark socks. You know, kids can always use socks. I grabbed these really cute ones for Lorelei. They each are packs of three. So this one has gray and pink. This one looks like it just has some like little designs on it. There's something else right up there. Oh, it looks like a face. It looks like there's a nose and a mouth, but I can't tell for sure. Maybe that's, I bet it's a puppy or a kitty because there's an ear. And then right down there is like a face of some sort. Super cute. And then there's this one that's literally just pink and gray and then the black and white polka dots with the little pink heel. So cute. So they're kids fashion socks by the Polo Club, but it's distributed by Greenbrier. Either way, super cute socks. And then these ones have the sharks, just white with the blue heel and then just kind of like this blue plaid. So just some socks for the kiddos. I got another set of nails because I have an overflowing amount in my room that I'm not used yet and I needed more. So these have the cheetah print on them and then like that little sparkle and I thought they were beautiful. Right now I just have my nails and I have gel polish on them that is lasting just a little bit. So if I can polish I do and if not I'm going to start putting on my glue ones. I've seen these be hauled for a long time and I've never picked them up so I finally picked one up. I haven't decided if I want to use it or put it in a giveaway. I can't tell. I remember someone reading not to use, yeah, not recommended for color treating, treated hair, and I have color treated hair, so I get really iffy about using it. And so it's by Body and Earth Ink, and it's not made, or it's not like a Greenbrier product, it's, it looks like it's made in the USA, I think. I don't know, I don't know what, King of Prussia, PA, so PA is Pennsylvania? So it must be made in USA, but it doesn't say like, oh no, it says made in China, distributed by. Wow, Amber. Okay, so I probably will put it in a giveaway because I think they're really cool, but I've heard they smell really good. They seem like a really great idea, but I have color-treated hair, so I don't know why it says that. If you've used it on color-treated hair and had no problems, let me know down below. I picked up this. I, like, I can't find any makeup. I still have not been finding any of like hard candy or anything in my area, but I grabbed this LA Colors lip gloss that's moisturizing. I thought I would give this color a try. It's kind of like a pinky red it says fruit punch on it so might as well give out give a different color a try i picked up this book it says when likes aren't enough and i actually picked this one up for the book because if you've been watching my channel frugal j gave me this great idea that you kind of open it up like this it is a nice pretty white color but it does also have very blue writing on the side and i mean you can make that work if you have it kind of turned and you just have a plain white book but i thought that this just seemed like an interesting read because we are such a social media stuck time frame right now like um i don't know what the word i'm looking for M not millennial but just you know like time frame right now we're just so into social media and so i thought that this would be a neat one to kind of read and it says are you really as happy as your social media profiles make it seem so it retails for 25 dollars in the us 32.50 in canada and i just thought it would be an interesting read so i picked it up I picked this up because I thought it was hilarious. It is a banana car. That's it. It looks like, like a little roller coaster banana car. I thought it was hilarious when I saw it. The name of it is Big Banana Car. So I only picked it up because I thought it was funny. I don't even know what I'm doing with it. I have three kids though. I picked up some ping pong balls. Um, I bought them to be golden snitches. However, I think that they could be one of the other crafts that I am going to do for Christmas, which is what this is for. I'm not using it to mop, but I want to use it for a craft that I saw elsewhere and give it a try myself. And I might do just homemade golden snitches in goodie bags if I have enough time to get it all together. So I have some ping pong balls for some crafting. I picked up some tissues because we are running low on tissues. I grabbed another box. I like this design and so if I see it, I grab it to have it on hand for when we need it. And lastly is just a couple snack food items. I got these, I called them Zappos last time, but then I was actually looking at the name and I think it says Zaps. So they're Zaps potato chips. I love the voodoo chips. I love the voodoo chips. I think they're so good. I have never tried this kind though. It says Cajun dill gator taters. I don't know. I don't know what that even means, but I thought it sounded really good. And so I have them on hand for a snack. So I picked those up. 
I had a sweet tooth and I never even ate it. I got the Reese's Big Cup. It's got pretzels in it with pretzels. I don't know, but I grabbed it that day thinking, ooh, I'm going to have this. And then it got put in a bag and I never even ate it. And lastly, I got the Fun Fetty cereal. I've seen a lot of other people read who they're made by. I think it's just by Pillsbury, which I think is funny because Pillsbury is such a cake maker, not a cereal maker. But I love the Fun Fetty cupcakes. It's my favorite. And so I thought I, I might like this. To me, the picture looks like they're like kicks, but with a Fun Fetty kind of look. I don't know. We will see. I got two boxes, so hopefully they're good enough because two boxes. And they are good until November 2021. Oh, I better get eating them. I better give them a try. So that is my haul for today. Please don't forget to give it a like. Don't forget to leave a comment. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Check out my Instagram at Amber's To Do List. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you so, so much for being here. Bye.